Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two. You crazy mother. All right, what is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome back to a very special episode of Burn Down. So basically, what I'd really like to do in a nutshell, really quick, um, is kind of showcase this helmet. So what we have here, this is the Earthshaker Monster Truck his official helmet for the 2020 season that we have coming up. So this is actually a used helmet that he used for last season. You can see the visor's got some scrapes on it. It actually came wrapped one of the drivers for Monster Jam does a lot of these helmets for those guys. They wrap them. Um, he reached out to me on Instagram to throw some paint on it and wanted to see if I was interested. And I said, send that thing on over, man. So he sent me, this is actually technically a used helmet, and we stripped it down, did a little bit of body work, and uh, the results are what you see here. If you're wondering how I got in contact with a Monster Jam driver, I've actually previously done work for the Big Kahuna which just so happens to be Tristan's father. So the big kahuna is the patinaed out Chevy truck with the surfboards in the back. And if you've seen the glittery, shiny ones, uh, those are a product of me. So I've made those for Shane. Shane actually followed me on Instagram. I did some work for him. And then that's how his son Tristan found me. Um, so to start things off, we might as well get right into that. Their last name happens to be England. And you'll notice right across the front, it doesn't say caution, it says England. So that is actually the driver's last name that owns this helmet. Uh, if you cruise around the side, it's basically caution tape. It wraps all the way around the back. We went with the caution tape and the signs, if you will, like road signs and whatnot, because his truck is a giant dump truck. So it has the construction theme, but I wanted to give it a little different feel. And initially, when I did the rendering on this, uh, the helmet was yellow and we went back and forth on some design elements and whatnot. And he just, a lot of his, his truck's yellow, his suit is yellow, and his old helmet was all bright yellow. And I was going to stick with that thing because it kind of matches, it makes sense when you kind of look at the program. And you don't want it to be so far off that you don't know that that helmet belongs to that driver. Well, I mixed up, this is actually a custom yellow base that I made, and this was going to be the color of the whole helmet. I had this thing all masked off, ready to go. It had a silver base on it. And I just heard him talking in the back of my head that was like, I don't want another yellow helmet. Like I could just kind of tell he didn't want it. So I actually just went for it and I put the gold down and I had the gold and the brown and I was kind of on the fence for quite a while, but I knew that I could always go backwards. So let's show you a bit about the helmet and explain um, what we did here. So construction theme, we got the caution tape that wraps all the way around. The bottom lower half that is kind of hard to see because the light's not out right now. It's um, a different mixture. It's basically brown, a couple different layers of candy brown, then there's some black um, shadowing in there, but this is basically like a layer of dirt. We've got the gold of the helmet. On top, you can see that we've got the Earthshaker logo. We have the tread pattern. This is supposed to be a monster truck tread pattern that runs all the way to the rear of the helmet. The caution tape wraps all the way around. Um, this is actually a little sign I came up with. It's a mixture of a danger sign, and then I actually put this little monster truck piece together because he is famous for doing a nose wheelie, which I think is called the moonwalk. So if I'm wrong, please bear with me. But he gets the monster truck up on the two front wheels and he'll sit there for like a minute, minute and a half or however long. I'm sure it's probably longer than that to the point to where you're like, how does that engine have oil in it still? But I don't know, maybe it's all dry sump or something. But yeah, he gets that thing up there and he can just pretty much cruise that thing around wherever he wants. So he kind of is a staple of this trick. So I made him his own little sign for the helmet. And then when you turn it to this side, we got the official Monster Jam logo because he is a Monster Jam driver. Ultimately, this is kind of a, this is his helmet, but he's in a Monster Jam truck. That's what he does. That's who he drives for. And I figured that was a good addition to the design. So yeah, other than that, it says, don't be a sheep. That's one little thing that he asked me to put on there that's special to him. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this helmet, Tristan. I hope you enjoy the new color gold and get away from a little bit of that yellow, even though we still got it in here. I think it ties in really well with the truck. And I hope this thing helps you bring home the hardware, brother. I really do. I'm really looking forward to seeing this thing on the podium. Uh, have you hold it up, getting lots of pictures and bringing home the hardware. I hope you guys enjoyed a quick behind the scene on the helmet. And uh, that's it. I got to box it up. We got to ship it back. You got to win some titles, brother. You guys. 
I'm out.